Why are we so easily seduced by propaganda? And if it's all around us, how do we separate the truth from the lies? These are the questions award-winning Canadian filmmaker Larry Weinstein is asking in his new documentary, Propaganda, The Art of Selling Lies. I spoke with him about exploring the art of persuasion from the past up to our present, a time when we are being bombarded by more propaganda than ever. Propaganda is political brainwashing. The film derived from a certain sense of frustration. Um, I, I jokingly have said that Donald Trump was my my muse. You are fake news. The through line of the film is is well, it's partly that it seemed that there be no through line, that it is everywhere. What if the media is the enemy of the people? And I wanted people to be disoriented. What century are we in? What art are we talking about? What artist are we talking about? It's all propaganda. It's, it's everywhere and it's everything. I learned a ton watching the movie. What do you hope people are able to take away and, and kind of talk to other people about this issue? I always, it's a very complex question and I always think about parents talking to the young children talking about what is good, what is not good. And I'm not talking about good and evil and black and white. I'm talking about humanity and humane things. I'm, I'm hoping that people can see through anything that causes them to feel that otherness. How do we know what is true? You have to be very vigilant to know when you're absorbing propaganda. And that's, that is indeed what the cautionary tale is. Like, look what can happen. Look how Facebook is something that was designed theoretically to have fun, you know, to, to, to have bunny pictures and kittens and, and to share things with family and friends and this way of connecting to your community. But look at how it's also got this hate element and this echo chamber element. How does that slippery slope happen? So it's about being vigilant and trying to um, perceive when you're being manipulated. And we all are. So you have to recognize that and just go that's not the life I want. I don't want to sit around chanting hatred. And, and I'm hoping that, that humanity can continue to grow and we can embrace one another. Yeah. Yeah.